Hello YouTube, this is DrawingK1313 and welcome to another one of my mod installation tutorials. In this tutorial we're going to be learning how to install a mod that I have been waiting quite a while for and I'm sure a lot of you have as well. This mod is Equivalent Exchange 3 made by Pahamar. The pre-release just came out recently and if you go over to the, or first off, if you go down to the description you'll find a link to the Minecraft forum page in which he has this mod and then if you go to that forum page and you scroll down, you'll find the download section. Right here you want to download Minecraft Forge, and you also want to download the actual mod itself. That's an add fly downloads, so just go ahead and click on that and then click skip skip add and it'll bring you and it'll download it for you. Now right here when you click on this, it's going to bring you to the Minecraft Forge files. You just most of the time downloading the latest one works all right but if that one doesn't work for you then use the version that I am using I happen to be using the latest version uh, as of today it's 6.0.1.345 so again if you try a later version and it doesn't work try the version that I have because I'm 100 percent sure that it does work once you have those two files downloaded you're going to need a brand new dot minecraft for minecraft 1.3 or sorry 1.4.2 now if you don't have this and you already either have your Minecraft modded or anything else, just go ahead and delete everything. So just kind of, you know, delete it, you'd press yes. And then next time you start up Minecraft, it's going to go ahead and download everything for you again. I have to just have done that, that way you guys don't have to watch me do that. So we're going to go ahead and get started. Now I'm going to show you how to install it three different ways. One using the regular .minecraft shortcut way, one using multi-MC, and one using the magic launcher. All three of these work very well, and it just depends on which one you like better. So, first things first, let's go ahead and install it the usual way using the .minecraft shortcut. Now, if you don't have a shortcut on your des desktop like I do, go ahead and press Windows button R and type percent app data percent. Press enter. I spelled it wrong. If you spell it right, you'll find the roaming folder. You can go to your .minecraft folder, and then you go ahead and just click on bin and then you find your minecraft.jar. Now for this you're going to need some type of archiving program. You can use WinRAR, you can use 7-zip, anything that allows you to open up jar archives, uh, zip archives, and yeah, that's pretty much it. So you're going to go ahead and you're going to right click on your minecraft.jar and click open with WinRAR archiver or whatever archiving program you have. You're going to click on the meta inf folder right there and you're going to press delete. You're going to press yes and it's going to delete the meta imp folder. If you don't do that, it will not work, so make sure you do that. The next thing that you're going to do is you're going to find out where you downloaded Minecraft Forge to. You're going to double click on that zip file to open it, and then you're going to go ahead and you're going to select everything in here. So you could either do control A, I like to deselect this top folder, I don't know if you have to, but I do, or you could just click on the first one, and then scroll all the way down to the last one, and then just hold shift and click on all of them, that will select everything. And then you just simply click and drag into your minecraft.jar, you click OK. It does all that. Exit out, exit out. And then you go ahead and you just start up Minecraft. Now the reason why I start up Minecraft before I install the actual mod, this is only with uh, Minecraft Forge installed, is just to make sure that I didn't do anything wrong. Make sure nothing, nothing went wrong during the installation of Minecraft Forge, that way I can know uh, where the error uh, occurred if there is an error. After it starts up and you see that everything is working just fine, you're going to quit game and then you're going to go back to your Minecraft shortcut. Now you're going to notice a whole bunch of new folders in there and the one that you're concerned with is the mods folder. You're going to double click on that and then you're going to click and drag EE3 Universal Pre-Release 1 into that folder. So again, .minecraft slash mods folder is where EE3 goes. Now you're going to exit out of that, you can go ahead and start up Minecraft, and just make sure that everything works. I'm going to show you, I'm going to start up a world, I'm going to load one, that way you can see that it is in fact installed correctly. I'm going to go to single player, I'm going to create new world, creative, that way I can have all the items. It's going to load worlds, it's going to build terrain, it's going to do all that fun Minecraft stuff. And in a little bit, you should see see it right there, actually. Equivalent Exchange 3, you're currently using the most up-to-date version for your version of Minecraft. That is pretty awesome. I like how he added that in. Let's go into our inventory just to double-check and make sure that everything is installed correctly. Oh, oh, that is 
sorry. I haven't <laughs> I haven't used this mod yet, so I'm just amazed by everything that has been added to it. Um, but you can see that everything is in here. You have the calcinator, which you can place down and go into it. So that's really cool. So you can see that everything goes installed correctly, and now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to show you how to install the using MultiMC. First, launch MultiMC. Easy enough. Now you're going to go to add a new instance, and I'm just going to name it, I don't know, E3. You can name it whatever you want. You're going to click on that instance, then you're going to right click on it and go to edit mods. Right here we have jar mods. What you're going to do is you're going to click and drag Minecraft Forge into there. All right. Now it's going to say Minecraft Coder Pack. I'm not 100% sure why that's doing that, but it should work. <laughs> um, now on the mods floor, you're going to click and drag EE3, and you can see that right there. So again, jar mods is where Minecraft Forge go, and mods folder is where EE3 goes. Make sure you don't put it in the core mods folder, put it in the mods folder. You're going to close out of that. You're going to double click on that. Uh, just log in, do all that fun stuff. It's going to download a new .minecraft folder, and then it's going to install everything into it, and then it's going to launch Minecraft. And again, just like I did with the previous installation, is I'm going to play through, or I'm going to load up a world and just show you that everything is installed correctly. There we go, it all loaded up, and you can see that Equivalent Exchange 3 is installed into there. I'm going to go to a single player, I'm just going to create a new world, make it creative, and then do that. Gonna build build terrain and all that. Once it loads up, you will see the message saying Equivalent Exchange 3. You're using the most up-to-date version of mine uh, version of Equivalent Exchange 3 for your version of Minecraft. We can go into the inventory. Once this stupid little message gets out of our way, we can go over, and there we go. We see Equivalent Exchange 3. That is too cool, too cool. So there you go. Everything works. It's as simple as that. You just click and drag a few files into MultiMC. It does all the work for you. That's awesome. Now I'm going to show you how to install it using the Magic Launcher. Okay, I don't know what that was. Anyways, open up Magic Launcher, and you're going to go to Setup, and then you're going to create a new instance. Um, actually, before I do that, make sure you have a new version of .minecraft. Just delete the one that you have, and if you don't have a backup, all you really have to do is uh, relaunch Sorry, is relaunch uh, Minecraft and it'll download everything for you. But I have it backed up, that way you don't have to watch everything download. So now you go ahead and open up Magic Launcher. You go to Setup, and just create a new configuration. I'm going to call this EE3, that way I know that it's for EE3. Copy from default, that way you have the Minecraft 1.4.2.jar. Now in the mods, you're going to go ahead to Add, and you're going to find where you have the mods download to both Minecraft Forge and Equivalent Exchange 3. I have mine saved on my desktop. You can see them right there. You're going to go ahead and click open. It's going to find it right there. It's going to say one error, but it should still work. So just kind of ignore that. It doesn't know what it's talking about. Now you're going to click on Equivalent Exchange 3. You can go ahead and click open. It's going to go in there. It should say OK. Now you can go ahead and click OK. And you go ahead and log in. Make sure you're in the correct, in, uh, correct configuration. That's all the Minecraft Forge stuff. It's going to launch. And in a few seconds, we should see that it does work. We have four mods loaded. Minecraft Coder Pack, Minecraft Forge, all that fun stuff. And then we have Equivalent Exchange 3. Now we're going to go ahead and just start up a new world. That way you can see that everything did work, and I did everything correctly. In a second. We can see that the world loaded up. It gives us a message saying that we are using the most up-to-date version. That kind of helps us know that it's installed. I'm going to go ahead and open up our inventory, wait for that stupid message to go away, and there we go. Um, yeah, there we go. We go into the Equivalent Exchange 3 stuff, and we can see that we have everything. Let's just go ahead and place that down, that way you can see that everything works, and it's installed correctly. Again, it's as simple as that. Just simply select the mods that you want to install, put them in there, and then you know click OK and everything works just perfectly. So again, I gave you three different options that you can use to install Equivalent Exchange 3. Hopefully at least one of them worked for you. If you have any problems, you can go ahead and uh, send me a YouTube private message. Uh, in that private message, include the versions that you use, the version of Minecraft Forge, and the version of EE3. Tell me which installation method you are using, and then tell me what went wrong. 
um, and try to explain as much as you can. Don't just say, it didn't work, because I'm not going to be able to help you if I don't know what, what went wrong. So I hope this tutorial has helped you. If it did help you out, then go ahead and leave a like. It'll help me out, and it'll also help other people find my video. That way it can help them out. So again, thank you for watching, and I'll see you all in my next installation tutorial.